Yes, I've reverted back to a whisper. This continues on from the last video a bit, but it still sort of stands alone. I ended the last video um, talking about the lenses, and then I said I was going to talk about uh, what I'd seen and what you can see. So that's where I'm going to pick up where I left off. Uh, for those who didn't watch the video, I've recently got a new telescope, which I've been playing around with. It's my first telescope I ever had, but I've always been curious about it. And so, uh, I've only sort of gone out uh, and tried it three or four times. But so far, uh, let me see, the first thing I saw of it, it's obviously the moon. That's the first sort of easiest thing to point it at. And it's amazing the amount of sort of clarity you see with the different craters. I talked a little bit about it last time. But you can sort of pinpoint the exact sort of craters. They call them seas, don't they? Like the Sea of Tranquility, things like that. So you can pinpoint all those bits. And also when you look at the edge, sort of if you imagine this is the moon here, when you look at right, right on the edge, you can sort of see the bumpiness of it. You can see it's sort of, it's sort of got some sort of texture to it, which is quite amazing. I haven't had that much luck with a thing called polar alignment, which allows you to sort of rotate and track things. At the moment, I've just been pointing my telescope at different things and hoping to see it. So the only other thing I've so far, is to try and see something is Jupiter. And although I couldn't see that sort of clearly, the Jupiter itself, I did see uh, its four moons, which was very exciting. Now, uh, yeah, so can I remember the four names? That's what I struggle with. So you've got Jupiter, which is this big gas giant, which has four rocky moons. Which sharp is just sort of pinpoints of light really on my telescope. But you can clearly see there's four of them in line with Jupiter. So uh, going out there's Ganymede, there's Io, there's Europa, and is Callisto a, Ju a, a Jovian moon? I think Callisto, in fact, I have a poster just up. from here. So Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto are the four, I believe they call them Jovian moons or Galilean moons, is what they're frequently known as because they're the four ones that were observed by Galileo and they're clearly the four biggest. So the next thing I think for my telescope is to go back to Jupiter and I should be able to hopefully focus in and see a bit clearly Jupiter itself. I'm told that you can just about make out the uh, bands of different colours on Jupiter. Um, other than that, I really want to see Saturn. And with my telescope, I should be able to make out this, uh, its rings. It'll mainly be a sort of blur of light and then these sort of bits going off of it, either side. I won't be able to make out the details of 
sort of summarising. At the moment, in the UK, which is where I am, which I think is uh, where sort of this is based, it must be really, because the, uh, you'd see very different things in different places. But at the moment, in the evening, in March, Venus is very clear. I've yet to observe that with my telescope, but that's very bright. It's the brightest star. but 
now it's just the end of the video. If you stick around, uh, stuck around this long, then I'm going to talk a little bit about just the, the channel quickly and my videos. If I just rearrange my um, foot's going numb in this cross legged position, so I'm just rearranging. Uh, I haven't made a video in a little while previous to these two about astronomy, about a month or so. So um, I will try to carry on doing it a bit more regularly. I can honestly say I really haven't had the opportunity to. The limitation on me making videos is sort of when no one's around in the house and there's at least sort of half an hour to get set up, record, then get unset up again. Um, so that requires those two things, no one around and enough time to get properly set up. I have tried to make a video sort of since about a month ago. But um, first the hour's interrupted sort of halfway through by someone sort of coming home and making a load of noise. And secondly, I recorded it with the wrong microphone instead of setting my recording settings to use this microphone down in, uh, you can't see sort of up, I'm speaking into now, my standard microphone. Instead, I uh, was recording through my laptop microphone, which is just this awful sort of webcam uh, recording, which just wouldn't have worked at all, so I didn't upload it in the end. It was sort of too short and awful quality. So, after this video, I won't be recording another one instantly, but in uh, two or three weeks, or whenever I next get an opportunity, I want to record uh, a video on some of my favourite films and some of the films I've watched recently. 